back. Let's continue the story here. Let's get a little juicy. Heaven will swallow the smoke of Aelfred's pyre. Very poetic. But he is going to be buried in the grounds Ooh. of the Minster. Ah, now we can always pay our respects. If you say so. Dries up the bones. Does Magister Batter not teach you the scriptures? Magister Batter is a horse's dangles. <laughs> and here is the axe I used to swat a fly. You have ventured from your burrow. And you have plunged my city into chaos. I had hoped you would use the lessons of your subtler gods. We have no subtle gods. If the gallows is truly dead, perhaps we can allow cautious revelry? I did only what I agreed to, Alfred. If your crown now weighs heavy, I would gladly take it from you. <sighs> Forgive my outburst. God sowed in me a passion, but English prose is an instrument long out of tune. We all want better for all. Yours and ours. The quill remains. What do we know? The decay of learning has been gentle in Wessex. We enjoy the office of wise men, but we have neglected the study of wisdom. The quill preys on this lapse. Did you discover more from the writings I found? I did. The quill is calling the children of Winchester to arms. Now we know why so many children scurry through the streets. Feral and untutored. I can talk to some, see where they lead me. Good. Find me at the alehouse when you're done. And try not to scare the piss from any of them. We Norse are the monsters of your sex and mother's bedtime tales. I promise nothing. I see you, child. Come. The bad Reeve. Selwyn. I saw you punish him in the square. He hurt many people. Yes. He hurt my mother to death. Then took her good luck charm. Perhaps you found it? A little carved tree. It is all I have to remember her by. Such a sad story. Take this. Perhaps it'll keep you off the streets and out of trouble. For me? Oh, thank you. Spry little mouse, will you lead me to your quill? Apples, eh? Fruit don't feed a grown boy. Do you have any chicken? I don't, but maybe you can tell me what you know of the quill. The quill? God blimey, you're brave. Find Elwyn and Wigbert. They see everything. Little cut purse. Keep your feet 
Count Nosy. I'm starving. God's beard. You'll set Winchester ablaze. Roly poly mutton man. You can't catch me. God help me. I'd rather be shoveling dong in Malvern again. Mind your own beeswax. Elwyn, is it? You wield fire like the flaming Jotnar. It, it was burning when I found it. Hot days like this, things just go whoosh. Well? Hmm. Oi! Wigbert! You great moon calf! Hand it over, Elwyn. We saw your little shadow take it. What are you looking at? I'm not sure. Looks like an old lady's been rolling in shit with all the other ugly sows. Uh, how can I dress, maybe? Trouble seems to follow you. And I wriggle out of it like a slippery eel. Why are you following me? I'm looking for the quill. So I'm asking you, his little worker bees. Us? Working for the quill? Shows what you know. Is that so? I am innocent as a lamb. They were the quill thugs and you killed them. Wouldn't want to be in your boots. It sounds like you owe me your life. This one's brave and strong. Might be able to help us. So you're not working for the Quill? We steal to stay alive and out of the Quill's clutches. But you know where I can find him. They come up from the sewers like rats. Go on, give her what you took. Maybe she can save us. Good luck, Dane. Try not to get maimed and all that. I should watch out for a mouse trap. me alone on the streets I'm going to marry King Alfred and he's gonna whisk me away from all this toil I didn't get nothing today there's 
never enough food. I'm always starving. Now, now, Elwyn. Few have the wit that you and I possess. Most see the world in simpler terms, where we are the weaker sex. A brood mare who preys on innocence and you brag about strength. How little you know. Defend your mistress! The grave for you! Let's take those guys. I almost had her too. Ilfer's roof. Does she flee to the bishop's house?
them will kill us all. <coughs> no more running. Winchester will see your crime. There's a ghost. Come, child. Whisper what you've learned, and Mother will give you a treat. Coward! Using children to spy and steal for your order. To educate them. Give me a child until he is seven. And I will give you the man. Or woman. What use are letters when a child can only write his name in pig shit? Or wisdom in a woman when she cannot wield it beyond her heart? I taught little Alwyn so much more. Saved her from a life less worthy. She will find enlightenment in the Order, just as I did. If I could save them all, I would. But you can't. You have corrupted too many to save too few. Ah! My Order is the only way forward. It can quench our thirst for knowledge. If only Alfred's slave faith is defeated! And what would you sacrifice for infinite knowledge? An immeasurable gift. Why refuse it? Not their innocence. to meet him at an alehouse nearby.
Is this where Justice hides when she's tired? Hides? Splood, no. This is a wake, my friend. A celebration to ease the Quill on her way to eternal damnation. You heard. Hilda's were not the only eyes in Winchester. My spies tell me stories of an avenging angel striking down the unworthy. I have been called worse. Be thou hail, Eldorbana. That's life destroyer in our dialect. <clears throat> I said easy with my kinsbane, old honey waves alive in my horn, and my eyes on the door, expecting my death, yet unafraid. <laughs> You're quite safe with me, Dane. For now. If the mead is fresh and the air is cool, you may often find a friend even amongst your enemies. I could use someone like you in my settlement, with ink on his fingers and a sense of honor. I would love to devote myself to the study and practice of the law. There is a weariness in war I wish I could shake off. Impossible. Even in death, our battles will rage on. It's the way of things. I must thank you before the ale dulls me. By cutting the order down to size, you have given England a hope of unity. It must be a sour apple to swallow, knowing that you are the last of Winchester's enemies. Are you sure the Six is dead? The Bishop is dead, that's certain. And if the Bishop was the Six, the Six is dead. A transitive property of mortality, you see. I don't believe it. Too much theater in Winchester. Overwrought players and wailing women. Well, you could pay your respects and see for yourself. The funeral is today. If he rots, I will leave with my silver. But if he lives, there's work to be done. Watch your step, Abel. He'll be a hefty corpse in death. Alive, he'd be much bigger. Whether you find or make a corpse, meet me at the Witten with your report. If the bishop is worm meal, then here should be the proof. A stranger comes to Wember. You do not mourn like they do. Wember is always here, helping the sleeping, singing to them, so they are not frightened before they meet God. The sleeping? You mean the dead? Wember helps the monks. Dig, dig, dig. You dig the graves. Did you bury Elferth? Have you seen Layoff? My poor friend. Poor, poor Layoff. Layoff? What happened to him? Sleeping. Sleeping like my dog when I hooked him too hard. Someone hurt Layoff? Yes. Yes. And while he slept. They stole his face. Are you the bishop's family? God, no. Just here to make sure that impious bastard is actually dead. He bedded my wife, the randy bastard. Did you know Bishop Aylforth? Barely. But can you still smell the burned flesh? It's rife across the whole graveyard. I am sorry for your loss. Makes no odds to me. But I'm sorry for Harriet. She cared so much for him. 
More than a sister should. Are we friends now? A sad day for Winchester. Maybe now God will reward us with a man who truly believes in him. Did you know Bishop Ilfrith? No, but I plan to write an epic poem of his grisly demise. Oh, poor Ailford, scorched of face. All your woeful companions, bold, bionid, weeping. Weeping as you are, uh... Sleeping? Oh, yeah, perfect, yes. Such a grisly fate. Did you know Ilfrith? By reputation, I did. He was no friend of Alfred's. I once heard them quarreling at a witten. Do you not see? I am in prayer. May we speak of your brother's death. Have you no shame? Leave me. We both know your brother's fate was a cloak of lies. He used your God's words for his own ends. Who are you to judge a man of faith? You, a Dane who believes in giants and wolves that eat the sun? Be gone. Get away from me, demon! Guards, protect me! Only his head and neck are burnt. Will you not leave me alone? Enough of this, Cat and Mouse. Where is your brother, the one that called the Sikhs? He is a ghost now. But he will make himself flesh once more at the Witten. And Alfred will be king no more. He means to kill Alfred? Regicide? No. The king will step aside and Aelfeth will lead us all, risen and resplendent as the Lord. You are a damned fool. Show me what lies ahead. Jammed. Need to get on the other side. must be hiding in the crowd, biding his time to strike at Alfred. Not priest, clerk, or abbot can turn the letter of their sermons from Latin to English. And how can we understand God's words if they are not spoken in our tongue? Aelfer is dead, and we mourn him. But the foul deeds are the unrighteous. Why do you defend 
end this tarnished crown! Enough, you scheming bird! How sweet is the shepherd's pipe when he calls his lambs to slaughter. I was born to Christians in the northern wilds. My mother would cradle me beneath the stars and whisper dove-like, God watches over you. Then your people came. And God fixed his stout eye as they slit her throat for a copper ring. No stars threw down their spears as barbarians smeared her blood through fields of broken wheat. God watched all. And I hated him. It may be Alfred's God was testing you. A trial you failed. Alfred's God is weak. Yet he would chain us all in his service from our first breath to our death rattle. My order wishes to break these mind forged manacles. I am the wolf in Lamb's Wool. He takes on the role of a god himself. A worthy path to walk. A wolf is but a walking feast for ravens. One more gift for you, Dane. A deadly truth, if you can find it. With my death, the Order will not die. It will only transform into something far worse for all of us. Elfirth will not cheat Loki's dread daughter twice. I owe you my life. An irony not lost on me, Alfred. My king, we'll go by back streets to the old minster. Eivor may find us there when all has settled. Elfirth, my love! No! Curse you, Dane. My brother served God. He was not a Christian. He abhorred your God. But why strike him down? Have you no compassion for good men? We both have more questions than answers. But if you know this key, perhaps we can help one another. Where is its home? You treated me with kindness. But this damned order... Their machinations killed my brother, so the rest may rot. Take this key to the ruins beneath the bishop's house. You may find answers there. It's weird, I just killed her husband and she's like, you know what? Yeah, they suck.
show me. Is there a little bit of government? Right? Bad. from the other side. Elfer's sister spoke true. I will find answers in the ruins. Is near the camera angle change? Like it's off sideways. This would be it. The door to Elfer's secrets. I will send this to Hytham. He may make some sense of it. The other side must be barred. side.
Everything they did was to undermine Elfrid. She lied to me. There is nothing here of the Order. I should see Elfred for my reward. It'd be crazy if she got like wrecked and locked out the door. Where's this guy at? Come forth, Eivor. I bet he's the father. Here is far enough. When wrongdoers came to devour my flesh, these enemies stumbled and fell. Have the laws of hospitality been thrown out, Alfred? I did exactly as we agreed. That you did. But do not mistake necessity for friendship. You are a man of your word, a man of God. Indeed. By his example, I live my life. Goodwin? Here is the only silver fit for one of your dragon boats. A reminder of Christ's sacrifice and our charity. This too I offer you. Live here among us in peace as a Christian, or die a pagan in a blood-soaked field. All you have to lose is life everlasting. And if I choose neither? He offers you hope, Eivor. A life of purpose, above and beyond this one. You'd be a fool to refuse. Your reign will end, King of the West Saxons. Raven wings will beat until your throne crumbles to This one is beyond a saving. Your chance, damn you! I did not want it.
return to Hytham and Ranvi, they will want to know what happened here. Time, we'll catch you later. We're back to where we were. Yeah. At that Bye.